sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shave for five. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust on you. Sway in the morning, shave for five. Yes. One of my favorite. <laughs> Favorite. Oh, yeah, that's our show. Hey, right hey, it's interesting because we was like, well, we, we, we got so many directions we could go with them. Uh, that's okay, Nene, do you, Nene, do you, do you, do you. But we knew when this happened that this would no longer be sway in the morning, it'd be fashion police in the morning. You know, you know, and uh, that's what we have right here, man. Um, four very, very interesting, <laughs> interesting people have come together and. Um, they have one of the most entertaining television Gorgeous. shows to watch, you know, and I love it because I'm not a fashion guy, but I learned so much about fashion over the years from watching this show. And uh, we have our distinguished guests from Fashion Police with us right now. So give them a big round of applause. And Melissa was here. <laughs> Melissa Rivers is here with us. And it's been a couple of years since we've seen you. Yeah. You look awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It's yes. a lot of spackle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Some I'm primer a and a good coat of paint. Yes. Well, look, I couldn't tell. I told her she looked tasty. All, you know, tasty awesome. Thank oh. you. And so you can look thank awesome you. and then you can look tasty oh. awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Can't wait to find out how you think I look. Oh. <laughs> Don't try to turn me on. <laughs> <laughs> Threaten me yes, for a good time. You look like a, a, a Dior mannequin, Brad. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, that's what you look like, right? Yeah. Ding, ding. Juliana looks. She yeah. looks. Glad. Do you wake up glamorous? Like, not at all. Are you kidding me? No, no. I just, you know, I had to step it up with these guys. You know yeah. what I mean? I got to oh, step no. it up. Yeah, to, yes, really? I do. Yes, I do. So, uh, no, it's Fashion Week. You know, yeah. so it's fun to dress up. It's fun yes. to dress up, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. The red yeah. carpet. <laughs> What? Queen of the red carpet. No, I don't know about yeah. that. But you know, nah. I gotta keep up with Brad. I've been following him on his Instagram. All those these printed tops you've been wearing. Blouses, blouses. That's right. Fashion week of printed blouses. blouses. And that's Nene Leaks, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Nene Leaks. What's yeah. up, Nene? Hey. Dang, Nene. So you kind of like, uh, are you the newbie? Not uh, anymore. Where, right? Not anymore. Well, uh, you've had a full a year in the in, yeah. the in the chair. Yeah. I am the. The newest, yes. The newest, but you're right? not a rookie yeah. anymore. No, I'm not a rookie. She's okay. finished her. She's into her sophomore season. Yeah, just a sophomore. And I can season. slay you guys. Okay. Oh, <laughs> with this tongue. Okay, that's whoa. Oh, Damn, what that got to do with fashion? Well, that explains. Um, that's what we do. We slay people. Uh, oh, with the tongue. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm saying, sorry. That explains why her husband walks around with a smile. On his face. <laughs> yes. Is he? Oh, yeah, that's true, here. right? <laughs> Brad, you look scrumptious, though, man. You look scrumptious. Oh, there, you there we go. There you go, man. Brad, scrumptious. Yeah, I'll take scrumptious. So let's talk about. About Fashion Week, uh, we were just talking about a story this morning. Tracy, you want to chime in on this? Um, and Kanye, Kanye West did his fashion show. Yeah, yeah. he had Yeezy, Yeezy for, and it was reported everywhere that it was a freaking disaster. First, it was said that the the models that were walking that they were dehydrated, that they hadn't eaten anything, that they were waiting for so long. There was a two hour <laughs> delay, and right. then Vanessa Beecroft, who is a performance artist and she was working with Kanye and she said that it was purposeful as far as the delay and that he wanted it to look like, you know, everyone was lacking oxygen <laughs> for whatever type of artistic inspiration. So well, honey, I'm dehydrated from talking about it. Now, <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah. y'all have to talk about but this. But isn't all the shoes were breaking too, so I didn't know if the shoes were just cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I have a Kanye theory. Okay, there you go, Melissa. Go okay. ahead. What is it? First of all, let's just say the coats were fantastic. Okay. But let's just start with something positive. Mm -hmm. True. Okay. okay. Kanye is going to spin any disaster into an art piece. Yeah. Okay. He is the master of marketing. And I think we should all acknowledge that now. Yes, yes. I think just like any fashion show, it ran two hours late. They weren't expecting 90 degree weather. The models haven't eaten in months yes. getting ready. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Hell, half of them were in body wraps the night before, sweating and dehydrating every last pound. Any of them, it was 90 degrees. Of course they all keeled over. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got a picture too. Here, you yeah, circulate like, that right there. Look at that. I don't know if I spelled her name correctly. But yeah. Boom. Oh, sorry, you I, know, but I'm, you know. Amina Blue. I'm in the yeah. blue. Yeah. And Kanye is going to make us all feel like we are not sophisticated enough to understand <laughs> mm. his genius because he is significantly above all of us. It looks right. like Amina blew out her heel and fell over. That's uh, what I'm it looks in like. Blue. Yeah. 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 I'm in a, So that's my Kanye I'm theory. That's a, no, you know, honestly, because when I was looking at it, I thought it was art. 
when I saw it. I said, this because looks like live art. Because he's convinced us yeah. it is. I agree, though. Okay. I think it so is. So we drank the Kool-Aid? Or yes, you think yeah. it's we I don't think so. The yeah. I don't think so, Melissa. I, I think it is art. Yeah. I think, we I drink think it's do. cool. It's so different from everything else. You okay, know? I'm gonna de- I, I appreciate that. You know what? Then I'm going to dehydrate you on <laughs> Saturday for our show right. and see if we can make you keel over and call it art. You can probably do that. <laughs> I'm sure that's not hard to do. Because when you look at the famous video that he did, and it seemed like he's fascinated with the human anatomy. And that when I saw what all the models standing in all these roles, I thought, oh, this is art mixed with fashion. Right. This is a hybrid. Right, yep. but Kanye doesn't think like us because okay. Ka- Kanye like thinks like on a whole other. You know, I I I just I think that uh, you know maybe this is kind of backtracking. Uh-huh. You know, kind of pr- trying to protect protect the fact that maybe the show didn't go as planned. But I don't really think there are any mistakes with him. I mean, yeah. it's like it's like kind of why Kim and him are such a match made in heaven is because. Everything is so well thought out. Like it's nothing, yeah, nothing marketing. really escapes okay. them. So, um, and listen, whether I, I don't think that these, you know, I'm not sure what kind of Im- who's going to be wearing these clothes aside from the Kardashian Jenners. Yep. But <laughs> I do think, I do think wow. though that his. Jay. Yeah, no, no, I would wear right? that. No, but I, I don't know but why I think you would even say because that, you are built no. like a supermodel. You can no, wear that. No, what my are. point? I my point. I didn't get to my point though. My point is that these clothes, and ever since he first debuted his collection, have become the the touchstone for mm-hmm. what's cool in street style. Yes. Yes. yes, and everybody is knocking it off, doing their own DIY versions of I Yeezy agree. if they I can't agree. afford a fifteen thousand dollar, you know, cropped pan and like destroyed sweatshirt. He is making an impact on the way people dress. Yeah, I agree. And I, that yeah. is the power of fashion and the power marketing. of Kanye. That's not marketing. I, I don't I think that's There's true. definitely a market machine there though. I don't think it stems from that. I don't think that's like the purpose and the mm. inspiration. I think that it's just so good and he really does have a great eye and a great mind for this stuff that it feels like it's marketing because it works. Like see, and this it's is, everywhere. But this is why right. I Do you see what I'm saying? This, I feel like this, I'm on an episode of fashion. Is gonna say. <laughs> This is why I love Juliana so I know what so she's going to say because I'm naive or no, something. No, I love you because it's like you still have a heart. <laughs> Don't be jaded, Juliana. <laughs> be not jaded. All these years on fashion, please. I still somehow have a heart. Yes. And that is why we love you. <laughs> right. who's, got fa- who's in charge of the sound effects here? Yeah, the, the look best. around the room. Who does that? I'm, uh, it's this like, guy right here, the engineer, DJ I'm, One. Hey, we got DJ. fashion police That's here. We're going to uh, open up the love. phone lines. you have any questions, 888-742-3345. Call us. <laughs> oh, here, NeNe Leaks is here. Juliana is here. Uh, Brad is here. Melissa is here. Fashion Police Season 6 uh, premieres Monday, September 12th, 8 p.m. on E. We all know this. You know, we all know this. And uh, so we just got into a great argument about Kanye. And uh, <laughs> got some callers that want to chime in. And uh, Mike is in from, from Buffalo. Mike, what up? What's going on, Sway? How you doing, man? Uh, oh, man, it's Friday. I feel great, man. I think I, I get a check today. I'm going I'm to spend it on fashion. Hey, man, fashion week. <laughs> <laughs> but so, it's a good month, man. There's there's five Fridays this month, so that means five paychecks. There it is. Yeah, yeah, my man. Oh. All right. Hey, so what, what's your um, comment? Yo, all right, man. First things first, I just want to start off by saying two things. Is that I'm definitely not a Kanye hater, man. I love Kanye. His first couple albums were the soundtrack to my youth growing up, man. And uh, I just think that... Right now where Kanye's at, I think people just need to kind of stop blowing smoke up his ass because I, I just don't think that, like, his clothing line, man, these ridiculous prices and stuff, it's just not good for the culture. I think people pretend that he's trying to, to move forward and he just has this big vision, but I just I, I just think at the end of the day, man, the, the, the 50000 you know, I'm exaggerating, but the however $100 pairs of sneakers and, and shirts and stuff, man, this is the type of stuff that... People are getting killed over. You, you, you know? think I you think it's think too that. expensive? What do you guys think about the price point of? Um... Prices are very high. I think across the board in fashion, prices have gone into a whole new stratosphere uh-huh. that is absurd. Yeah. Um, I would like to see things be more accessible, obviously. But then there's this whole other culture um, where things are almost so accessible that we're losing quality. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. So it's it's sort of a, a, a half and half. But I do like the fact that designers are acknowledging that things are too expensive and doing collaborations with like an H&M and a Target and stuff like that. So you do still get a lot of bang for your buck. I think yeah. if you're paying like $3,000 for a jacket that has like really nice detail on it or beading or studs or like something really cool on it, you're getting something that fear, feels like artisanal in design. Uh -huh. And I'm not spending $3,000 on a sweatshirt that has like somebody's put like holes in it. Like really? no thank right. you. Okay. But when no. you have that poppin' ass jacket, the moment you put on Instagram, a lot of people feel like they can't wear it again. You know you what can't. I mean? Do you well, guys you feel can't. pressure like that? You can't. <laughs> you can't? <laughs> no, you can't. Shit, I'll but be repeating so all the time. No, I, re I repeat, but just not for another Instagram. You uh -uh. know? Oh. No. I know. Why well, not? Once it, yeah. nope. People will be like, you wore that already. Yeah, so of course. course. I okay, know. can I ask you guys a question? When, <laughs> is, so when, when, is, when, is, um, when is going oh too God. far? When is fashion, like, is there a, a line where you go too far at these fashion shows? I'm going to circulate this picture. And, 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 and for me, this, this, this is a Gary Owens uh, fashion show. I mean, Rick Owens' uh, fashion show. Gary, Gary Owens, Owens is the announcer. To... Yeah, I yes. love Rick yeah. Owens. Um, no, this hi. guy, it's a guy yeah. walking down the... This the, was last year. The, yeah, last year. He was walking down yeah. the runway with his penis out. Oh, my God. So... We talked about this so on Fashion Plus. Right? Did, did you just say he's so small? Yeah, I've never seen anything so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, NeNe. You know, yeah, mm, totally. I feel I, like, yes, there is a line. I just feel like there's a line. There is. A, I, it's just. It's not a cute one. You know what? I don't want to be forced to look at you things I don't. Yeah, not asking to out. see. Uh -huh. like he has a one. cape on with his penis out. Is that is that like fashion? It looks like, like a peep that you get for Easter. You know the little bunnies. Ah, I do. It, it looks, looks like, like a, a peep. A peep. A peep. <laughs> That's not what you want. Your. You know what? Like, do you want to see my peep? Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't actually. Does that, that, <laughs> hurt, <laughs> like that, that, that hurts the piece he was wearing, right? Nobody. Oi, oi, oi. You know, and like at least get get a hair dryer and like warm it up or something like, <laughs> that looks like he had it stuck in an ice bucket for a little while but I feel like you know you should want people to focus on the fashion on the piece you know no, not, not, the, not the piece, piece but <laughs> not the piece again the whole, All right. the whole point is framing <laughs> that you know that piece you know we see women's bodies highlighted all the time I think Rick Owens was trying to do was like free the wiener you know oh. free the wiener of course free the wiener. okay so yeah, hood by air hood by air look at this uh, now this is a picture of one of the models who had what is that around the model's mouth and the mouth is just open like well, it's going to take a slong to it or something? I don't, I don't know what that has to do with fashion. I don't have my glasses on, but okay. is that all piercings? Yeah, what do you it call that, striking. Heather, with the, the bedazzle beads around his mouth? And oh, that is? I that is. See, I gotta it's what they, open, they hold your mouth open with when you're getting dental work done or whatever. You know? oh. But it's bedazzled. Oh. oh. You know, I, again, it's... These runway shows are supposed to be artistic and have a theme and be extreme and over the top. <laughs> I want to look at the clothes. I want to see okay. pretty clothes on okay. pretty people. I'm, right. I'm, I don't want to look at that. I find that so disturbing. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. Young Young Thug has um, put out his new album. And in, in, in this, this is the cover he's wearing. What, what, how, how would you describe this dress he has on, Heather? A fancy um, maid. You know, fancy. fancy slave. What do made. you think of it, though? I thought, did, does he wear it right? Like, if you're going to, if he's, if, you know. If it's he's very wear... Sia. Yeah, okay. It's very Sia. I love it. I kind of love it. It's it's very Sia. Yeah. Yeah. You liked it, Nini? I loved it when I first saw it. Yeah? yeah. That's that Atlanta thing. Yeah, you know, I lived Whatever. Isn't it very, <laughs> yeah. okay. isn't it very Sia? You think so? Yeah. What do oh, you well, think, Juliana? Cover, what do you, what do you think of it? Ruffles. Yeah. You know, if he wore that on the red carpet and came on your show, I, I gotta be honest with you. But see, I'm so I, you know, I think when I first started on Fashion Police and started doing the red mm -hmm. carpets and stuff, I was much more like I would really break it down. But I was basing my opinions more on what I like and what I would wear. Mm -hmm. But now I think I've kind of look at things so differently, and I instead of just looking at the outfit or what their intention was, I think more of like the artistic side of it, you know, and yeah. and that. The the idea that someone feels something strongly enough to mm -hmm. to show a side of them to the world that yeah, I, I don't know I think that's really cool it like is that really you cool. you know what I'm saying that's what fashion yeah. is and I think oftentimes and I used to be this person I think you take it too seriously yeah you know mm -hmm. we take fashion too seriously when fashion is supposed to be fun and fashion is yeah. temporary you know if you try something on a red carpet or whatever you see a picture. It doesn't work. Who cares? You know yeah. what I mean? It's not a big deal. It's like you just wear another outfit the next week. It's not a big deal. So I just feel like we, you know, just 
have fun with fashion. Have like, fun go with oh, a little yes, bit. Queen. Like, yes, yes, queen. Oh, yeah. But, like, I think for... <laughs> yes, queen. I think young for... Thug. Yes. Young thug. I think for yeah. a photo, yeah. it's fantastic. For a red carpet, I'm concerned his mother didn't hug him enough. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> well, this, is, this was for his album cover. It was for an album, album cover. cover. It's amazing. It's amazing. super creative. It's also a beautiful it's, photograph. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's great. Everything it's great. About for it. a red carpet, yeah. then you're like trying to get the attention. You know, fashion is, again, it's so personal and it is mm-hmm. an art form. Personal. But we also, let's be honest, we watch these shows and we look at these because we want to see pretty people in pretty dresses. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. we want people to look yeah. amazing and gorgeous and beautiful. Mm-hmm. I-, I watch for wardrobe malfunction. Yeah, you <laughs> watch you? Yeah. For, for the you for cleavage. Yeah, yeah, you I want to like, see what's going to happen. You, you like know what I mean? The cleavage That's why I always cam. watch Juliana. I, I love to get, see, she get the best guests and when they met, when something happened to them, <laughs> it all goes viral. Yeah. Um, first ladies, what would you rank me? Uh, Michelle Obama in terms of fashion on, on, on your top five of all time first lady list? Oh, I think she looks amazing. Yeah. I think she's always classy and classic mm-hmm. and and timeless and I love everything about her. Yeah. I agree. Totally agree. I think she has a great sense of style. She does. What, what would you rank her, Bray? I love her. Number one. Number one. Above wow. Jackie Kennedy? And she hugs when you meet her, which yeah. is so yeah, nice. You would put her nice. style-wise above mm-hmm. Jackie Kennedy? I would, actually. Really? Yeah. I think I would, she's. I think she's. I think she has really, really crushed it. I, I think too. she's I'd kept it the modern. Three. I also think it's so yeah. cool that she wore and supported so many young, yeah. mm-hmm. new designers mm-hmm. and like really encouraged uh, and and helped to further American fashion. See, and I, I would not that her, Jackie Onassis didn't. I'm not yeah. saying that, but I'm just saying in terms of like today, contemporary. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. that she has really number one set the bar high. And I, I put her definitely in the top three. Yeah. Who will be the other two? Um, Jackie Onassis, uh-huh. John Kenny, and because it was so uh, epitomized, the great designers and couture, uh, uh, Nancy, Nancy Reagan. Reagan. Nancy Reagan. I didn't Reagan. Say that, yeah. Nancy yeah. Reagan. Who brought in the era yeah. of like Galanos uh-huh. and Oscar de la Renta uh-huh. and yeah. the quality of couture and tailoring and those kinds of I'm things. Not mentioning Hillary parties. though. Why? Why are you not mentioning Hillary? She can rock a pantsuit. Um, Hillary can use some styling. I love it. Barbara Bush. Barbara Bush. Grandma. (laughs) Hillary can use some styling. They've gotten the proportions better on Hillary's jackets, though. Yeah, that has been, and they've given her a little more of a waist, yeah. which is fantastic. I love yeah. that you watch for this, Melissa. You, I do. <laughs> I when she came that? out at the convention, yeah. the proportions were different yeah. on Yo. the suit, and they gave her, they pulled her in, and they gave her a little more of a waist, and it looks, it looked great. It looked great. A, a brooch, fashion police. A brooch right wouldn't hurt. A simple a brooch, a brooch. wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Yo, give it up for fashion police, man. This is like being on TV with you guys. Yeah. 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 A brooch That's, wouldn't hurt. Uh, Monday, September twelfth, eight p.m. on E. Congratulations to. All all of you, Nini, always great to see you. Thank Melissa, thank you for coming thank back. You. Juliana, thank, thank you for you. being here. Brad, thank come you. back, thank man. And yeah, I'm a size to. XL, man, so I know you get a lot of free goods. <laughs> you got it. You All right, hook, hook me up. Dior, sure. dog, Dior. <laughs> All right, uh, up next, we got uh, a very special guest who's coming back. Got his own new show on BET now. Gary Owen. That's right. Sway in the morning. Shay 4 or 5. <laughs> it's Sway in the morning. Only from Shay 45.